Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about facial topology for good de deformation. So how to set up your edge loops in order to properly then rig your character and not have any strange pinching or uh, you know weird deformation issues that, that come up. So I think most of the time now People don't really do box modeling anymore. When I when I was first learning 3D, um, all the faces that that I made or all the characters I made had started with a cube in Maya, um, and thankfully we really don't do that anymore. Most of the time, I think, at least my workflow, I usually start with a high poly mesh that I've sculpted and then bring it into Maya or whatever program and uh, retopologize it from there. But it still can be a useful exercise to try modeling ahead, try setting up your uh, the uh, topology with a cube. So let me just take this up to, I don't know, 10. And just to give you a rough idea of where the major landmarks are going to be. So you have your center line, you want to leave that undisturbed. So the, the rule of thumb with uh, deformation is usually you want clean loops around the eyes and mouth. The nose is an extrusion, but you want to still hide those poles somewhat away from deforming areas. The ears are usually a mess and usually just kind of stick on there but you don't want the topology the bad topology of the ears to create weird loops or spirals so I'm gonna go over all that I have uh, brought in a, a, a female base mesh head that, that I'll go over as well but let's just start with the cube so usually actually let's uh, take it up couple more because let's take it up to 12 so still have your center line usually you want to try to keep the number of edges um, even what I mean is you want a center line for your extrusion so if you were going to extrude the eyes you will want three polys up top maybe or uh, four up top with a center line and four at the bottom with a center line something like this and then you've got one center line going through and one center line going through and I'll just extrude that down and then same for the mouth Usually an even number of polys, One, two, three, so six up top, six on the bottom. And the reason I say even is just because you want to always have those center lines. So let me just extrude so you guys can see. So the important loop is this one, because this is going to be the corner of the mouth. All, all the deformation is based on this loop. So this will be the top lip, and then this will be the bottom lip. And then this inner extrusion will be the mouth bag. So, just so you guys can see a little bit better. So, same with the eyes. So, this loop will be where the blinking happens. So this will be the bottom eyelid, this will be the top eyelid, and the caruncle will be hidden within there and then these inner polys will be extruded in for the eye bag. Now the nose is a little bit tricky and usually the way it's done is you want to take these loops for the mouth and it's a little bit difficult to show on a cube. You want to take these loops for the mouth and have them stretch out and extend 
and have some of the loops going around the mouth cut through the nose. And I'll, I'll show this on the, the female bass mesh. So the nose would, well, you want to be careful because you don't want to create any six-sided stars or poles. But if you extruded the nose something like this, and then you would want um, a, a loop, at least a couple loops going through there, because every time the mouth moves, the, it will somewhat affect the nose and the nostrils. Um, the, the deformation is connected. And then for the ears, usually I will leave something like four and two or, or four and three to um, just to lead out and then I'll make the ear separate and then just terminate edge loops around the ear so that it fits within this three to four poly square. And you, uh, I will link uh, the video at the end or in the comments below um, to the terminating edge loop video that I just did um, so you, can, you guys can see how you can fit the uh, the pieces together if you're um, if the number of loops coming out of whatever form you have doesn't fit together so this is the very very basic setup for the face and obviously you don't have to do it from a block model oops I made a mistake here I should have see I've created a, a, a pole here a six-headed star I should have brought this up and or I could have done this and then uh, deleted edge loops and terminated them uh, further up in the forehead. Um, but a low poly cube is not really the best way to box model. Alright, let me hide this and I'll show the, the female face. So, not perfect topology. I actually need to go through and retopologize both my female and male base meshes which maybe we'll, I'll uh, go over that whole process in a future video. But just to show you guys the topology on this. So this is the loop that I was talking about that goes, hits the nostrils, hits the tip of the nose, and then comes down here and uh, will be affected by the moving of the lips. And we've got clean loops for the lips. My center line isn't great here, but it's this guy right here, and it goes through. Could be a little bit straighter, but the uh, the corners of the mouth are kind of affecting how straight it is. But it's still there. Here's the center line for the face. Now those edge loop or the the stars that I was talking about earlier, the poles for the nose are actually terminated up here, and you can see how. The, uh, the extrusion happened. And then for the eyes, again, the center line is a little funky because I have the caruncle in here, but it does go through. And you can see this is where the blinking happens along this line. Um, it would be a little bit better if this loop was more uh, parallel, was more even across, but uh, you know, this is how the topology ended up. You know, crazy things happen when you're retopologizing. Um, let's see, what else is there to show? Down here is where the edge loops were terminated. And the ear, you can see what I was talking about. So the ear was modeled separately and you can see there's a uh, pretty bad topology back here. It, it, usually what most artists I've seen do is get the ear made and then kind of terminate and uh, terminate the loops behind the ear on the top of the ear here as best they can. I've made a few ears. I've never really been happy with the, the topology. I don't think um, I've ever seen like a really beautiful looking ear topology before um, but yeah so what I was saying uh, on the cube example uh, 
this is the loop that was then bridged to this area, which was cut out of the face. And it looks like there's another pole here. Um, actually, it looks like I didn't even follow my own rule here because it looks like there's a couple extra polys down here. Or there's more edges on the bottom than on the top. But if you can make it work, you can make it work. All right, so quick one today. Um, just going over the face topology. Maybe I'll do more in-depth video actually going through and retopologizing a high poly face um, in a future video. Um, but for now, that's all I'm going to cover. And if you have any questions on anything I went over, please leave a comment below. I try to get to all of those. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching, guys.